The steel sector is in a state of doldrums. JSW Steel believes the culprit in chief is slackening demand, compounded by lack of credit due to the NBFC crisis and government project delays. Let's do a three point analysis of JSW's Q1 earnings to understand what are the pain points and what is the outlook on the company. 1. Low demand, falling prices. Steel prices are struggling. What is rubbing it in is a flood of imports and pricey inputs, including higher iron ore prices. Currently, nearly 66% of steel imports are from free trade agreement countries with 0% duty. Iron ore prices are already up by 40-50% to 50 this year, while coking coal has remained largely flat. And as an established player, JSW Steel is feeling the pinch right now. Its June quarter, that is Q1 FY20 results, bear all the tell-all say uh, signs that the demand has hit in the domestic volumes as well as sales have actually fallen 2%, hurt by a subdued growth in the auto industry as well as the white goods industry. Now, sales in the auto sector were down by as much as 20% year on year. Low demand invariably leads to low prices, which has showed up on JSW Steel's books. Now, June quarter realization also came off by 5% year on year. Now, the company also took an inventory loss of $21 million from its overseas operations. While its U.S. subsidiary has reported an EBITDA loss of $36 million, the loss for Italy-based AFRP also reads $4 million. Two, what has led to the operational strain on the company? Well, a confluence of factors such as loss from overseas subsidiaries and cost pressures have actually kept the overall profitability under strain. Now, raw material cost as a percentage of sales has jumped to over 52% in Q1. As a result, EBITDA has dropped a significant 27% year on year. What made the going tougher for JSW Steel is the addition of fixed cost. Now, both depreciation and interest cost have seen a spike as the steelmakers capitalized its balance sheet. By the end of June quarter, its net debt also stood at 47,800 crore rupees, resulting in further deterioration in profitability. Now, during the quarter under review, net profit also took a big blow, plunging a sharp 55% on a year-on-year -year basis. 3. What is the outlook on JSW Steel then? Well, at current market price, JSW Steel is trading at seven times its enterprise value to estimated EBITDA of FY20. Now, valuations are a little stretched in the light of concerns over steel prices and the demand in the medium term. Now, even as demand is on the way down, the company is pushing ahead with the steel production right now. It's up 3%. Now, lower sales are also adding to the worry line with a spike in inventory, which calls for a sense of caution. Any uncertainty surrounding the acquisition of Bushin Power and Steel and the funding are price overhang. Now, investors would do well to walk with care right now.